Hey guys, Snoop Lax here, and today I'm going to be checking out my own hack that I made about two years ago, so I'm going to be playing through it and just talking to you guys. So first up, I'll get the six jiggies. Are the six honeycombs, I mean. There's one. Be able to climb this tree. Oh, did I miss that? Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, there's one over there. I always wish uh, the original Mario 64 had a little bit more collectibles in this courtyard area because there's really nothing you can do here except take the cannon, visit Yoshi, I guess you can get the one-ups. I guess there's that secret level over there too. The one with the vanish cap. Should have a honeycomb piece in here. I know I made this hack a couple years ago so I'm sure I won't remember where everything is. Should be another honeycomb in here, I thought. Maybe there isn't. Okay, yeah, there is. I almost went up without collecting it. Alright, so I just need a couple more honeycombs. I think I know where they are. I think I might not be able to see chat. I'm just gonna refresh my window here. Wait, is this open? Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the secret room. Okay, there we go. I didn't see the chat before. Yeah, this is real Nintendo 64 capture. Hey, what's up, Zachary? What's up, Arsa? Um. Okay, yeah, that's everybody, I think. Yeah, this is played on EverDrive. I might have to switch to an emulator later if uh, this doesn't work out. Because the levels, uh, what two levels? Lethal Lava Land and Shifting Sand Land didn't seem to work on console. So if I get to those levels, I'm going to switch to an emulator. I don't know why they don't work on console, it's kind of frustrating. Alright, there's six honeycomb pieces. No, I'm glad I'm finally going back to this hack, because... I know, it was a lot of fun to make, and I... That's how a lot of people found this channel, is from the Banjo-Kazooie video. I don't know, I just like using like the Nintendo 64 controller. I find it so much more comfortable and just natural than like an Xbox controller or anything. Finish the hack? I would like to finish this hack someday, but I don't know, it's just gonna take so much work and I'd rather spend it on other things right now. But one day I definitely want to finish it. Like. I wouldn't mind finishing Hazy Maze Cave, because that would be a really fun level to do. Maybe I'll have a goal of finishing Hazy Maze Cave this month and adding it to the hack. Another thing I kind of want to do is a Banjo-Kazooie and Donkey Kong 64 hack. All the levels are... all the level models are available, so it wouldn't be too difficult. Ah, uh, yeah, I think I might then, Jonathan. If Banjo gets confirmed for Smash, like, that'll be so much Banjo hype. Start working on that hack a bit more. Oh, thank you, dude. No, I started working on this hack, uh, I 
think in 2016, probably put about 80 hours into it, I'd say at least. It's the first ROM hack I ever really did. Oh, Ari, so you could learn. You're pretty smart. Yo, know, there's another guy who's making a Banjo Kazooie and Mario 64 hack. Oh, thank you so much, Chub Clark. I appreciate that a lot. You guys don't know, Chep Clark is actually the guy that came up with the concept for uh, the Hazy Maze Slide. He's the one that set told me, I think Hazy Maze would be really cool if it had a slide, so that's why I made that slide for uh, Simple Flips Competition. But yeah, I really appreciate the donation though, Chep. That's awesome. Oh, no problem, Chef Clark. Oh, I'll just go up the other way. The Banjo-Kazooie and Ocarina of Time hack is looking really good too right now. The guy, Mark Kirkle, that's making it, he'll probably release it in the next, hopefully, couple months here. Oh, yeah, I probably could do that, because I just have to make this texture transparent. Yeah, I could do that. That's a good idea. I could update this level. Will Smith Genie. Um, I haven't really taken in that meme too much yet. I'm not gonna lie, today I thought about making a Smash stage with Will Smith as a genie since it's like a new fresh meme, but I don't know, it's, it's a good meme, I guess. I doubt I'll end up watching like the Aladdin movie, but yeah, good meme. It's so nice being able to walk up here. In Mario 64 it was so difficult. You got, I have to do like jump kicks or something. I think I came down here already, yeah. Oh, bacon is so good. Hey, Paul, this is real 64 capture. I'm playing on a 64. I might switch to an emulator later, because I don't think Lethal Lava Land or uh, Shifting Sandland work on console, so I might have to switch to an emulator later. I think there should be a Jinjo in here. Jinjo. Yeah, Jiggy right here. Oh, that's my first Jiggy in the course. Yeah, so I've been trying to figure that out too for a while while it freezes, but... Okay, there should be a Jinjo in here too. Oh, that must be it, dude. It must take, uh... That's probably why the music is being like this, because I'm getting too far to the edges of the map. Oh, like, uh, Jonathan, are you talking about those rotisserie chickens? Those are so good. I must search for ten of us. 
AV out's the way to go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, 93 notes. Okay, I'm close. I think there's notes on that island there. Okay, so I'm missing the yellow Jinjo. I think I know where he is. I'm missing seven notes. Okay, this island hopefully will have the rest of the things. I'm pretty sure I got this Jinjo already, yeah. I forget what the star is called in the original. Maybe it's flying, fly through rings for five secret spots? No, that's not it. Fly through rings in the sky. I think that's the name of the star. Alright, there's the last three notes. These are honestly such a pain to get, though. Wing Mario takes flight. Yeah, that sounds right, dude. Okay, there's the jiggy. I just need those notes. Oh, okay, I'll try that again. No, but a hack I'm really considering making is uh, Banjo Kazooie and Donkey Kong 64. I think that would be like really fun and pretty a decent concept. Come on, Banjo, you got this, bud. Wow, I did not get a single one. All right. There we go. That there's just two more. One more. Alright, last one. This shouldn't be too tough. There we go, 100 notes. So. I am missing two jiggies, one's from the Jinjo. I think the first Jinjo might be in this cannon at the top. No. Oh, yeah, there's a jiggy in the bars that I didn't get. Some yeah, some banjo kazooie Mario art that would be pretty cool. Okay, one more Jinjo, the yellow one. I don't think I've checked this cannon spot yet. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool, dude. Like if you had, uh, what's the first level's called? Mumbo's Mountain combined with, like, Bomb on Battlefield into one level using both the level's assets, or, like, uh, Treasure Trove Cove combined with Shifting Sandland. Is that six? Hundred. I have two honeycombs in here. I have one, though. Um... And I think I have a hidden, uh, whatchamacallit, stop and swap egg in here, too. Uh, alright, that'll be good for this level. I don't want to... I'm just gonna see if I can find that hidden stop and swap egg really quick. I kinda remember where I put it. I think it's, uh... It's up against... 
a wall. I only have four feathers left, so... Hey Dave, yeah, this is on console right now, like, I'm using an actual 64. Oh, screw it, I'll just go on to the next level. What would happen if you put Konga in tow? Um, I'm not sure if I can get Konga to work. I've never tried, but it'd be worth trying, though. It'd be pretty cool if he was at the top. Alright, next course, let's go to... Let's go Womp's Fortress. That's kind of a logical order. Um, do I need the gold feather to beat him? Oh, I don't even have one. Oh, no, I can do this. There we go. It's kind of weird thinking about uh, Womp's Fortress and thinking of it as like a beach level. Or, uh, I think this music fits pretty good though, to be honest. Especially because of the lighthouse at the top. I know it's not really a lighthouse, it's more like a castle tower, but it is pretty similar to a lighthouse. Treasure Trove Fortress. Now there's a level called, uh, or ROM hack called Cool Cool Bay. It's made by Rovert. I did a video on it on my channel. And this guy, he took like Cool Cool Bay and, uh... No, sorry, he took Cool Cool Mountain and Jolly Roger Bay and put them into the same level. And it's pretty cool. Yeah, Rovert's like a pretty good ROM hacker. He just made this ROM hack about a month or two ago where you play as a janitor, and every single star is like a different day in the janitor's life. I kind of want to play it soon. Maybe I'll stream it one of these days. What's with the weird arrows? Um, it has to do with the texture, because usually that arrow would be here in Super Mario 64, but when important to Banjo-Kazooie, it's on the exact same, like, spot, if that makes sense, so it flickers. Wow, I already got 74 notes in this level, I'm almost done. Yeah, overlapping textures. That's it, Arsa. Are you guys ready for some of the biggest slowdown you'll ever see? Okay, get ready guys for the frame rate to drop to like 12. Oh, don't even have enough. Are you talking about the hack that Case made, Arsa? Like, this Case made a hack for Super Mario 64 where you play in the Donkey Kong levels. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's honestly, that's a really good hack. That's one of the few ROM hacks I've like played fully. So I played a lot of Donkey Kong 64 growing up, so when that hack came out, that was definitely a treat. And Kaze, you did a really good job with that ROM hack too. It's cool, you unlock like abilities throughout the game. Like for instance, if you collect like enough coins, you can buy the BLJ. Because he patched it so you can't BLJ, but if you spend like 50 stars, you can like unlock it so you get the ability to BLJ again. Honestly, some of the earliest videos on this channel are about uh, Super Donkey Kong 64. I might have them privated or unlisted now though. Banjo Tooie and Mario 64. I haven't played much of that one. I know the guy that made it. I think I think UED made that one. I could be wrong though. He might have made the original one. Though. Oh, come on. Better camera angles. Alright, are you guys ready for uh, some canonless here? so confused about Kaze's name right now, because I always called him Kaze, and people told me that I was mispronouncing it, and it was called Kaze. So I'm like, okay, so I started calling him Kaze. And then I watched Jaywood's new video, and Jaywood apologized for calling him Kaze, and he said that his name's actually Kaze. So now it's like, I don't know which one's right. I've heard people say one's right, or the other's right, so I, I really don't know anymore. Oh no, Kit. Yeah, Mr. K. <laughs> I like that. For me, K's is definitely more natural. That's the way I think that word would be pronounced, so. more Jinjo and there he is. Oh, I'm surprised that I made that. It's like a speedrunning strat. Yeah, I use like a lot of the flip bits in this hack. I just like how colorful uh, Banjo Kazooie is. Yeah, the climbing is actually pretty easy. You have two points, like um, a bottom climb and like a top climb, and you just put them both on the poles. Hey, how's it going? Zero zero one zero zero zero. I'm trying to think about what number that is in like binary or in. Or I guess that would just be sixteen. Hey, what's up, Dawson Gaming? So we're at 100 notes. 
We're missing two Jiggies, which should both be over here, I think. Yeah, there's one. Okay. It's got a... Yeah, there's one and there's two. This jump looks harder than it is, I remember. It's usually just as easy as... Yeah. should be everything for this level, even the honeycombs. Honeycombs, jiggies, and notes. Yeah, that's good. Right next up, we'll go to Cool Cool Mountain. Yeah, one thing is, there is a lot of one-sided textures, and I was never really able to figure out, like, how to fix it. Like, every fence is a one-sided texture, and it's just frustrating, because I tried so many different things, like, Laking on this two-sided textures and just doing all this stuff, but... Right, let's go to... Good old CCL. Uh, Jonathan's on some, like, next-level memes right here. I gotta say, I like the um, uh, Freezy Peak theme in this level. It sounds pretty cool. I, I guess we'll go to the chimney first and do the brace. Hey, Anime Max. Yeah, I definitely won't forget this hack. One day I definitely want to finish it. One thing though, I really, really do wish that Banjo Kazooie had a sliding mechanic, because using these boots just walking down is so, like, anticlimactic. I guess the closest thing they have would be, uh, the sled. In the races, okay, this part. Oh, this part's the bane of my existence. Okay, there we go. Why did I put these notes, like, so close to the edge? Actually, I think I set the timer to this to, like, something insane. Yeah, past Snooplax is evil. <laughs> you didn't think two years down the road he'd be streaming the hack. And <laughs> okay, this ice key right here. Um, no, well, you actually get to set how long the speed shoes last for, and I just set them to last for, I forget what number, but I did pretty high. Okay, I don't want to fall here, I need a good camera angle. No, that's going to flip and it's going to screw me over. Um. Ah, uh, I'm not sure if the shortcut was always that shaped, like, I know it looks kind of jagged. Just gotta take this slow and steady. It's the one thing about the Nintendo 64 version of Banjo Kazooie, like if you die, you lose all your notes. I kinda like the Xbox version for that, because it just saves the notes that you've already got. Thank <laughs> you. 
There we go, 44. I forget, maybe there's 66 notes in this? Definitely one of the harder parts of the ROM hack. Sixty-four, that seems right. I think that's how many notes are in this part. And then I'll take the slide. Or not the slide, but the shortcut again. Okay, I thought Yeah, here's a shortcut. Actually no. I don't want to it's stuck in like a uh, soft lock or something. Oh yeah, there we go. This is banjo sliding mechanics for you. Look how he slides, it's like <laughs> Banjo sliding mechanics were never used in that trick, if you really think about it, like... Oh, you got this banjo, just keep sliding. slide part done. Okay, we'll head out here. Okay, there's the Jinjo. Pretty sure there's another Jinjo hidden in this corner here. Cause that's where one of the eight red coins is. Gotta be so care careful with the snow because you just keep walking. Yeah. Banjo Kazooie doesn't need to open any doors. Just breaks them down. Hey, this part here is a warp, just like in the original game. Warps it to the top. Magic Zooey Nuts and Bolts. Don't hate me for this, but I really enjoyed Nuts and Bolts. I played on the Xbox, and a very unpopular opinion here. I think I like Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts more than I like Banjo-Tooie. Because, I don't know, Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, I just had a lot of fun with designing your own vehicles, and the physics in that game was really fun, and really big open worlds to explore. I know it gets so much hate, but I really like Nuts and Bolts. Yeah, I could, like, modify this hack. What are you talking about? Uh, like, what type of... Uh, Modifications are you talking about, dude? I think my favorite thing about nuts and bolts is the cheese factor. What I mean by that is it's like you could cheese so many things and just kind of cheat and just do something not even the intended way. 
like, I don't know. I saw a Nakey Jakey video that kind of explains it perfectly. Lots of games hold your hand and it's like, follow this path, do this, do that. But nuts and bolts, it's like, make any vehicle you want. Do this however you want. And it was just a really good kind of sandbox game in that regards, if that makes sense. Yeah, I can still add stuff to levels and everything. Wait, uh... I don't think this works, so I'm gonna try. Yeah, like putting the crate in the trolley and flying and stuff like that, Jonathan. Right. Oh, I better get back and collect that before I forget. No! Okay, thank god, I thought I was gonna fall, like, right into that pit there. Oh, I'm getting low on health, I gotta, gotta collect some more before I die. Hey, just ten more notes, and then I'm good. Yeah, I wonder what would happen if... with that, dude. Oh no, a little bit too late. I'll just wait to go down. I don't even remember what the beta Jiggy Dance is, uh, ultimate dude. Alright, there we go, 100 notes. All the anxiety has been relieved. Okay. Oh, that's alright. I got all the Jinjos and all the notes, so... All I really need to do is... Get... Or jiggies <laughs> and two honeycomb pieces. Oh no, wait, I didn't lose my notes. I guess that just respawned me. Okay. Yeah, there's one of the jiggies. Oh, well, that's what happens when you get hit, and... <laughs> well, we figured it out, dude. <laughs> your answer... Your question has been answered. <laughs> that's what happens when you get hit by a snowball when you're collecting a jiggy. Come on, Badger, you got this. Okay. There we go. That's how it's done. You just... Keep sliding and jumping. I really thought I was done there. Can't believe that du dude pretty much predicted that. He asked what happened, then it happened. Okay. Oh, <laughs> 
have any of you guys uh, played ukulele? Just curious about your guys' opinion. I've never played it yet, but I've always kind of considered getting it. Oh, yeah, you'll see the replay, dude. It was pretty funny, to be honest, because the snowball hit Banjo, and then Banjo went flying off the ledge onto a slope, and yeah, I'll have to check out the replay. Yeah, there we go, honeycomb piece, just what I need. Now, I remember when the ukulele Kickstarter was going, though, and that was so hype, but... Yeah, yeah, I think that's like the perfect way to describe ukuleles, like, okay. I've never played it though, so maybe I'd love the game, so. Oh yeah, the uh, total in this level is kind of broken. It says 1 out of 6, but obviously I've gotten more than that. Okay, um, I'm pretty sure there is a Jiggy under a snowman, or at least another honeycomb piece. Okay, so... Oh, I only have two feathers left. Yeah, the Freezy Park theme is legendary. Feather, one opportunity. And shoot. Uh, I don't think there's any more feathers in this level, so I'll just. Uh... I'll just X out of the course. Just fall off the course and go back to the warp pad. Then we can go to Jolly Roger Bay next. Uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Well, this just turned into Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> I'm just curious what's gonna happen if I go out here. <laughs> I must not have set that warp right. <laughs> Where is this going to take me? Oh, there we go. Now we're at uh, Princess Peach's secret slide. This is my plan all along. Alright. You have to remember that bug that it takes you out there. Um. Getting these notes are such a pain. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's so hard just to <laughs> even like walk in a straight line to get him. Okay, here we go. Putting notes in this level was a mistake. <laughs> Come on, just get get the note badge and got this. I'll just walk back up there. Yeah, I'm just using Kazooie as <laughs> the legs and just relaxing. So I guess one thing I added in this was that door over there that leads out of the slide. Which, honestly, there's nothing behind that door. It's just a wall. But I put the warp zone so that you can't even even you can't even break this door. Oh, you can't break the door. Once you walk here, it warps you. Yeah, Banjo Kazooie's hitboxes are like questionable sometimes for sure. Alright, let's do some Jolly Roger Bay. Um, I've seen the demo play out, and usually Banjo will just kind of like walk into a wall or something since he has like a pre-programmed path. Actually, let's go to the aquarium first. I totally forgot about this level here. There we go. Aquarium it up. Collect the six Jinjos. I think it's six. Five, five Jinjos. I'm pretty sure Jolly Roger Bay is one of the levels in the demo right now. I'll show you. Th I'll show you guys the demo later. There we go. Get some air. Especially with the one health. That's a different take on the aquarium, that's for sure. Right. Now let's really go to Jolly Roger Bay. Just wondering if I can jump in here. I don't know, this is just like how it would be. Oh, I really wish I didn't only have one health right now. <laughs> I like that. Dude, like, that's a good theory. I'm not gonna lie, I really don't like water levels, and I was kind of, uh... 
Well, I wasn't looking forward to this level because there's a fair bit of swimming. It's not too much. Rusty Roger Bay. Alright, some more feathers. I need those. Thank you, Jonathan. As long as somebody believes in me, I should be okay. Yeah, the music does sound a little bit off. I'm not sure why exactly. Right, Jinjo. Oh, is that it? I better go up for some air. I don't want to risk this with one health. Oh, one thing I forgot was I was going to call this uh, the 2500 subscribers special, but I totally forgot to do that. Maybe I'll just call my next stream that. How's it going, Ringtail99? Okay, so I'm at 51 notes. in this level, I'm sorry. I, I just can't do the swimming. I'll get the rest of the jiggies, but I'm not going to do the rest of the notes. I had like no chance. He was running for me in the water. I had no way to attack. No way to defend myself. Hopefully I can get to the top. Oh, that glitch happened. That glitch happens every once in a while. Or you just uh, drop to the bottom of here. Kind of cool, makes it a little bit faster to collect these things. Alright, now to get my revenge. Yeah. 
Oh, hi, Mark. No, oh, that movie, uh, The Disaster Artist with uh, James Franco and Seth Rogen was such a good movie, though. I just watched that a couple months ago, and I never even knew much about The Room, but then I watched The Disaster Artist, and... I'm not sure what they were called, Arisa. Forty nine, so uh, actually, I think I've, I'll get all the notes. I take that back. Well, if it lets me get back up here. Uh. So I don't think I can just... I can't touch that top part. Oh yeah, those honey hive things would be useful. Oh man, I gotta... I guess just not touch any geometry while I'm going down. Just stay in the center. Just like, every time I get to that point, it does that. Um. Alright, Kazooie, you can do it. I know this is super steep, but... Which way do I even need to go? I should probably figure that out first. Okay, I need to go up there. I'm just gonna Talon Trot. And then lose some health until I just die, I guess. As sad as that sounds. Oh, actually, I got this fish here. I can just keep running into it. That's one way to do it. So, we might have to switch to an emulator here. Because that's all the levels that work on console, I think. Yeah, it almost worked. I was almost able to Talon Trot back up. It probably will freeze, but I just want to try it just in case. Shoot it, Priest. Alright, well, I got an emulator running right now. I had a feeling this was going to happen, so switch to the Xbox controller. Um, turn on Project 64. Um, oh no, I'm going to have to restart. Um... 
And since I knew I wasn't gonna have enough notes... Wait, I need to map my controls here. So I'm gonna go C buttons. C left will be that. Right will be that. C up, down. Alright. Okay, yeah, that's good. Uh, I don't have a 64 controller to uh, USB adapter, so I just use a GameCube controller when I play ROM hacks on PC. But the graphics are a lot better on emulator though, it's like a night and day difference. The only thing is, though, my emulator kind of freezes a bit. It's a little bit annoying. Alright, let's go to... Good old Lethal Lava Land. This one, it was pretty fun. I like how the scrolling textures worked out there. I kind of like how that, like, rest in peace guy fits perfectly in this door. <laughs> now, the reason why I chose to do Click Clockwood Autumn was because, uh... I don't know, Autumn, I always think of like red leaves, and this is a red level, and any excuse to listen to the Click Clockwood theme is, is fine with me. What? <sighs> it's not fair. I might not do the 100 notes on this one either. This one's really tough. Uh. No. Shoot. Ugh. Yeah, if the lava wasn't one shot, it wouldn't be too bad, but you mess up once and screw it over. No, don't. <sighs> Come on. Okay, I'm gonna forget about the notes and just get the jiggies. I'll do the volcano stuff first, because, I don't know, it's pretty cool. This is pretty colorful, though. It's pretty good. Okay, no, don't hit me. Ugh. Wait. Oh. Game over. You have to try that again. I just remember when I was recording this uh, playthrough of this level, I was having so much trouble. Oh well, yeah, blue boxes would have been pretty cool for that. Oh here, I'll show you guys the intro now. So this is how it works, if you guys are curious. So this one adds in the bomb on battlefield. Yeah, but you see how he just tries to like walk into the wall and stuff? Because he's never been programmed for this stage.
Yeah, this is the Jolly Roger Bay one. I think he just like literally just walks into the water or walks into the wall. <laughs> I want to see him go back on the warp pad. Come on, just straight there, man. Just walk right on it. It's getting so close. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, let's see the next one. But yeah, so that's how the intro screens work. Well, I think, uh, I showed off Lethal Lava Land, so I'll go Shifting Sand Land. You guys kind of got the gist of the level. Actually, I'll go back to Lethal Lava Land one more time. I'll try one more life and see how far I can get. I think that's fair. I really didn't show off that much. Okay, I'll do this move. Okay. How does the water work? You put in... I think you use a texture as the water, and you set that texture as water. I think that's how it works. It's been a while since I've done, done stuff like this, though. Yeah, so, if I remember right, I gotta go right in the middle of this so I don't burn. I cannot go on the edges. So the lava is a little bit higher than it looks, so gotta be extra careful. Okay. Are you guys ready for a difficult gingos? Oh, and it's not that bad. Incredible feet, getting all those gingers so spread apart. <laughs> you guys get it? I had a bull as the bully. Yeah. Hey, how's it going, Jeremiah? Hey, Sky YouTube. I've done my part for PewDiePie. I've subscribed, and I made a Super Smash Brothers stage telling people to subscribe to PewDiePie, so I think I'm okay. And you got another bully over here. <laughs> How did Mario 64 become Banjo? Well, in 2016, I spent a lot of time making this ROM hack, and that's how. <laughs> that is the story. Ah, 
I should I I want to go to that island but I probably shouldn't I, I won't risk it oh, I gotta be so careful yeah cuz next death I'm just gonna go to shifting sand line. I've already decided so long to figure out how to do these like uh, magic carpets because the higher speed you put in the slower it goes so initially I put a speed in of one and it went like hyper fast so I was wondering okay well I'll try 0.5 and still went really fast so I kept putting in like smaller fractions and just made the problem worse then I finally figured out that the carpet speed is like inverse so a speed of 200 is like that. Alright, uh, did I not put a warp pad in this level? Uh, okay, I guess I gotta save and quit really quick and then... Yeah, it's weird. But they can't handle the pause screen. Okay, let's check out Shifting Sandland now. I'm pretty glad of pretty glad how the water worked out in this part though. Alright, shifting sound lab. Some SSL. Yeah, you can have uh, the same music for every course if you want. You can do custom music too, but I kind of wanted to use the Banjo-Kazooie music just to give it a bit more uh, banjo feel to, to it instead of importing the Mario 64 music. Sandland, I like that. I like the way that, that the scrolling textures work for uh, all the sand that would normally kill you. Here, dude, I'm gonna make you a moderator, cause I need more moderators, and you've watched almost every one of my streams, so... Thank <laughs> you. 
Ever oh, come on, make this jump. Yeah. That one wasn't even hard. Yeah, no problem. No problem, dude. I appreciate you always, like, watching these streams. Wish uh, that block was here, the one that uh, just keeps rotating. Glitchy right here. I think I did that to kind of. Actually, I kind of forget why I did that. Did they make these climbable? Let's see. Just cl no. Alright, well, I guess we'll head into the pyramid right away here. I think there should be a really easy jiggy though. It's at the top of this. Yeah, I put the water in there. One thing I'll have to remember to do. Hey, how's it going, Martin? Now, if you want to make a list, so that would be really cool. Those things I need to fix right now would be uh, transparent flower beds. We talked about that. We talked about uh, the fact when you leave Cool Cool Mountain, it takes you to actual magic Kazooie. Water there. This camera angle though. <laughs> Can't see anything. Oh. On. <laughs> Watch Mojo top 10 worst camera angles of 2019. I'll post all the notes at least. It's 14 more. That's a slope, I better do the talent trot. Actually does fit pretty well. Um probably the biggest YouTuber that has played this hack would be the Hobo Bros, if you know who they are. They had done two parts of playing this hack, but other than that, the rest of them have been smaller YouTubers. The Hobo Bros did a pretty good playthrough though, they had pretty funny commentary.
Yeah, you know, they're pretty good YouTubers. Like, they've actually have played a fair bit of hacks. They've played my banjo hacks. And they've played a lot of the Super Smash Brothers hacks that I've made. So it's really awesome that they check that stuff out. So yeah, I'm good for the notes. So I need three, four Jinjos and some Jiggies. Where did something to do with... Oh yeah, the Jiggy's right there. Okay, I, just, I gotta climb up again, I guess. Get up there, I gotta drop down. Actually, I think this is good for Gobi's Valley. I got all the notes. So we're gonna go back to the Nintendo 64 and do Bowser in the Dark World. So I'll turn off Project 64. Oh, oh there's that. Now I'll turn on the Nintendo 64. Wait. What's black? One sec. It's um. There we go. There's the EverDrive screen. Load in. Oh, good old Zelda 2. So after I'm done with, uh... I'm pretty sure it's Bowser in the Dark World. Yeah, once I'm done with Bowser in the Dark World, I'm gonna call it a day. And end this stream. Is this is the last thing to show off in the hack. Walk right by it. I wish I could get the Bowser picture to turn to Peach, but... This word's actually pretty hard, so I gotta be pretty careful. Okay, no, Banjo, okay. No! Ah, oh, That part's so tough. Well, it's, honestly, it's not even that tough. You just need strategy. That mummy just fell in the background there. Yeah. The best thing to do is using the CB move just like this. Yeah. Or you can do that. It's every time you hit him, you like bounce back. No. Uh. No, okay. Alright, let's try this again. I've never played uh, the Zelda NES games that much. 
I played Zelda 1 definitely more than Zelda 2, though. I think in, I've gotten maybe to the fourth dungeon in Zelda 1, but... They're definitely good games, and... <laughs> Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, alright. Let's try this again. How many gold feathers? Oh, I only have two gold feathers, so I can't just spam those. Yeah, Mario Galaxy 2, I think I honestly have 241 of the stars. The 242nd star doing that thing was just way too hard. You had that gauntlet where you only had one life and you had to do all that crazy stuff. I'd always get to the end and then that one, uh, who put that through as a boomerang would always get me. Okay. Nope. <sighs> Forgot I was that low. Alright, let's try this again. I don't even know if I can get Moon Jump Cheat to work properly. Because since I edited the ROM so much, the Moon Jump Cheat won't be located there in the memory. If that makes sense. So I can't really use cheat codes for this. I'd have to be fine where the Moon Jump thing is in the ROM, so it's not that easy. But no, I think I got it this time. I just gotta really focus and use some strategy. I think the A B thing. It's the hardest part. What? Oh my... Alright, let's try this again. I, I really thought I was uh, lined up there. Yeah, that's true, Nintendo TV. Oh, all these guys are gone at least. I have full health, so I don't have to deal with them anymore. Yeah, that's good. Man, I don't know how I missed this last time. Do I want to get all the Jinjos? No. I'm gonna s Well, maybe I should get that blue. Can't just leave him there. Get there with a regular. Okay, thank God. This should be the last Jinjo. Oh, 
Wait, where's my Jiggy? Oh, whatever. I got all the Jinjos. Okay. Alright, there we go. Let's do this. Can't believe that furry pair. Right up here, it's so unfair. But now the stupid bear must fight. This battle test your skill and might. Oh, I honestly kind of forget what to do. It's been so long. Okay, just... Two honeycombs is what I need. Okay. Okay, this. Gold feather? Okay, thank god I had one. What's the pattern for this? Uh, why not just run away from it? I just gotta go up to her. Did not mean to take that much damage. Okay, just there's gotta be a pattern. One. This boss battle honestly took me so long to program. Okay, no, oh, that's true. Not bad so far. No! Uh, 
Okay. At least I have a fair bit of feathers. I just gotta go for it. to the air. I have full honeycomb, so I'm doing alright. Yes. How many more times do I gotta hit? Okay, there we go. Now the Jinjo part. This part is... Wait, do I still gotta hit? Oh yeah, I still gotta hit her like one more time for the Jinjo's come. Okay. Oh no, never mind. Jinjo's are coming right now. Uh. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh no. I need like 10 eggs each. And not even a single one would end up. That's not too bad. That's one Jinjo down, three more to go. Okay. I'm missing two health, so I can recover those right here. if it's possible to poop eggs into the statues. I think it is. I think I've done it before. I remember it taking more eggs to release the Jinjos, but this only takes like a couple. Is 
that it? I, I forget if that's how the fight ends. Boost, you've wounded me. I can do because I don't have any gold feathers. Spawn, so if I just jump by.
feel like I'm stuck. Like... Without a gold feather. Just oh. Yeah, just, I'll try shooting my eggs more slowly. Use your ground pound for bitch. Alright, well, I give it an honest effort. But I can do it, guys. But yeah, thank you guys so much for checking out this stream. I really appreciate it. I wish I could have beat Gruntilda there. But you don't always win, so. Thanks again, guys. And hope you guys all have a great day.